Now let's talk about using Peachtree to manage your budget. You want to enter your budget into Peachtree and then track it throughout the year. Peachtree offers an excellent budget tracking and reporting feature. Let's first set up our budget. To set up a budget, come in here to the Maintain pull-down menu and come down to Chart of Accounts. Let's pull up our income statement accounts down here. Normally, you only set up a budget for your income statement. Let's start with our sales account. Here, we come over to this tab, Budgets. You can see that we've set up a $600,000 budget for the year. Let's delete this and we'll show you how to input this. When we delete it, notice it just deletes this column. There's an allocate button here. Let's press the allocate button and that's going to clear what's above. Now, you need to mind your debits and credits when you're entering your budget. Remember, credits are negative amounts. Income items represent credits. So when we enter our budget for an income line item, we enter it as a negative, 600,000. And to allocate it evenly over the 12 months, we click on Allocate. Now, if any of these amounts fluctuate during the year, we can easily come in here and change it just for that period. Let's say that July and August are really good months for us. Now you can see our budget is 620000 for the year. If we want to use the same budget for next year, we simply click on this button, Copy, and it'll copy this budget over for next year. This is especially useful if we have really edited and worked with these individual periods. Now let's look at an expense account. Let's save this and let's go down to an expense account. Here's freight. Let's pull freight up. You can see we have a budget of $4,500 for the year. This is a debit amount because this is an expense amount. Same with a cost of sales account. You can see our budget for subcontractors-miscellaneous is $25,000 for the year, allocated evenly. This is a debit amount. So when you set up your budget, remember, income amounts are negative, expense and cost of sales amounts are positive. And you set up your budget for your income statement accounts only, not your balance sheet accounts. Now, let's look at the reporting features of having a budget within Peachtree. Let's close this and let's go over to reports. And let's come down to financial statements. Here we can see we have a custom designed financial statement in the Bellwether Garden Supply Company. This is a custom income statement designed for Bellwether that lists differences in actual versus budget for expense and income activity. And we need to use the landscape orientation. Let's look at this report on the screen. You can see here that we have columns for actual, current month budget, and variance. We can scroll over here and see that we have year-to-date actual, year-to-date budget, and variance for year-to-date. Very useful information. So we can see that for our first line item sales, we only have sales so far this month of $5,800, whereas we had a budget of $50,000. Something is wrong. Let's look at our year-to-date numbers. Year-to-date, we have a budget of $150,000 versus actual of $88,77. Something is definitely wrong.
Now, let's close out of here and let's look at some of the other reports. Here's a standard report that comes with your Peachtree software for income and budgets. Let's look at this one. Here, this is the same as the last report, except for the fact that there's not a variance column. 